What's up, guys? Today, I want to take just a couple minutes to talk about American Horror Story. Look, guys, it's right. I haven't forgotten about this series. It's just, you know, when we don't really have a lot to go on, Ryan Murphy, his entire team, is just so secretive about every single season before it comes to fruition that despite coming up with pitches for things that we would like to see or just speculation of what could be coming in the near future, there's just nothing to go on and we won't know for another couple months. But with that being said, I do think it would be really interesting to talk about season 11. Yeah, that's right, skipping season 10 because now we know not only are we going to get season 10 but also season 11 12 and 13 but talking specifically about season 11 and what the story could be about so instead of just my normal thing of doing a specific pitch for that season I wanted to just ask you guys a question is it possible that we're going to get a sequel to American Horror Story cult in season 11 as the blowback from the 2020 election is felt across the entire country and we have just a couple of months to sit in it before either Donald Trump becomes a second term president or somebody else is swept into office. And look, guys, even though I don't like to get political, at least on this forum, you know, Twitter is a completely different story if you follow me over there. But one of the things I did talk about recently when it came to my ranking video of all the seasons of American Horror Story thus far is that Cult, to me, is one of those lingering seasons that has so much going for it, but it's just so dark and depressing that I'm not surprised when people put it near the bottom of their list. However, if you look at that season as a whole, specifically where they ended it, it did leave the door open, at least potentially, to go back into that world and see what happens next. And you know what, guys? At least for me, I'm just thinking that 2020 is going to be an incredibly rough year. Right now, at the time of recording this, I don't know when you guys are coming to this video, when you find it on YouTube, if you've found it at all. Maybe it's a month from now, but the day I'm recording this is right before the Iowa caucuses on February 3rd. At this time, I don't know how that's going to shake up. I don't know how the Democratic primary is going to really play out. And I don't know just how brutal 2020 is going to be, but looking back at 2016 and 2018, I can imagine that this is probably going to be the worst one in modern memory. And that isn't even saying who's going to be the candidate or not. But for me, at least after the events of 2016 and everything that played out, not just in real life and stuff that happened on social media, but also just the slew of entertainment options, that believed or were made in the run-up of thinking that Hillary Clinton was going to be president and that was going to be the new status quo and how much stuff they were throwing out there on a future that we never really got and now we've gotten somewhat of a shuffling of all these different properties trying to recreate themselves in a new sense of what America is or what it's going to be in the future and a lot of those programs having kind of fell by the wayside, I really have to look back at Colt and think there was a lot going for that season. It was the wake-up call that we needed, and it kind of spoke volumes, at least to me, without saying a whole lot, and did, at least in parts, fought for both sides while making them both seem just ridiculous. In that story, it didn't matter whether you were for Hillary Clinton or Trump, Democrat or Republican or anything, both sides let their inner demons get the best of them, and at the end of the day, it felt way more cathartic than it otherwise should have been. Maybe that's because I did pay a whole lot of attention in the lead up to 2016, but with the way they ended that season, I feel like they can come back to it in 2021 and retell a story set in that universe after the events of 2020 to see where everybody is or maybe just how nothing has really changed and everyone is still on pins and needles afraid for their lives. Maybe it's even worse now and that's kind of something we have to deal with. It's cathartic for everybody who's watching it because we know the world that we're living in. And you know what? Even just looking at the schedule and everything that Ryan Murphy is going to be pushing out in the upcoming years, doing a sequel to AHS Cult would almost perfectly align with the American Crime Story season of impeachment for Bill Clinton. I mean, really, no matter how you play this out, I feel like the 11th season of American Horror Story could really act as a sibling for the American Crime Story, and maybe through the scares and the drama, the artistic endeavors of telling those two stories would be one of the ways the entire audience can kind of come into a sense of reality after the initial blowback of whatever is going to happen during the 2020 race. And look, just because I can, I feel like this would be the perfect reintroduction to a lot of the characters and themes and even locations that we 
we've seen throughout the entirety of American Horror Story. One of the things I've been talking about with this entire channel is that when it comes to the stories told within this anthology, there has to be a season that brings everything together. And honestly, if you do a season in the run-up or even aftermath of the election, this would be a perfect time to do that. Reintroducing the witches, reintroducing Murder House, Asylum, and all of these other locations and seeing how these places are affected. And because Cult dealt with the real world aspect of Donald Trump getting elected, maybe you go back to Camp Redwood and see how that place has been affected after the government shutdown. Maybe a lot of these historical places have kind of been moved aside and they're more in disarray and disrepair than anything else. How are the witches dealing with this? And a whole lot of stuff like that. One of the things I feel like a lot of people didn't like with American Horror Story Cult is that it was a lot more grounded. We were not dealing with witches and vampires and ghosts and everything else that we've come to know, love, and expect from American Horror Story. But but if we take eight or nine or ten or eleven episodes to be reintroduced into that world, and because it's connected to everything else, it might be interesting to go back and show all of these people and all of these things that we know really dealing with the fallout from 2016 and the events of 2020. But you know what? Look, I have no idea what's going to happen. Maybe Colt was just really experimental. Maybe Colt was exactly what Ryan Murphy wanted to do or what he was thinking in the lead up to 2016 and afterwards. Or maybe it was just something to kind of allow him to process everything that happened, him and his entire team, you know, trying to figure out what led to those results that hit the entire country incredibly hard. I mean, literally, no matter where you stood on the issue, I feel like everyone was kind of shocked by everything that transpired on that night and afterwards, and that's what that story was about. And I feel like maybe if this is so brutal again, they might want to pick up that story and run with it in the best way possible, or they just do something completely different. I'm still on the fence about this, honestly, because Colt is just such a divisive season. I know that there's a lot of people who are going to watch this and just think to themselves, maybe they've even gone down to the comments already and told me that, no, this is something they don't want to see. I hope it doesn't happen, yada, yada, yada. But the reason I'm making this video is I just wanted to see everyone's thoughts and opinions on it. So tell me in the comment section below if you haven't already. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe to me for my American and horror story content well i can guarantee you that there is more of that stuff coming in fact i am working on a script for a video that i feel like you guys are going to like anyway hope everyone's having a fantastic day it's been real